Our next guest says Accio Toyota's remarks did not accomplish anything. Trial attorney Stanley Chesley joins us now from Cincinnati. On February 8th, he filed a class action lawsuit against four units <clears throat> excuse me, of Toyota, claiming they enacted a scheme to sell dangerous and defective vehicles. We welcome you, Stanley, to the program. Thanks so much for joining us. Do, do you really think they entered into a scheme? I'm going to play devil's advocate because I have to. What about the idea that 60% of any car, not just Toyota car, any car these days is run by electronics? I mean, it, it's hard to control everything, is it not? It would be nice to know what their electronics are. They claim they have the only machine in the world that can read it. We can go to the moon. For example, we bought three wrecked cars because that will give you the exact timing on when the accelerator, and they do not, they, this idea of them, they have a wonderful word, creep. It does not creep. It runs immediately. What, what we're hearing is hogwash. Uh, in reality, the best way I can describe this company is they like to stand beside their cars, they like to stand behind them, they say they stand behind them, but they won't stand in front. The problem is none of them, they want to take responsibility, they want to apologize, but they don't want to accept the consequences. The proof of this is this will probably be, in my opinion, by virtue of the corruption, and their purposeful hiding and covering up. As I always say, uh, Deirdre and Eric, you can run, but you can't hide from the American justice system. And I feel that Mr. Toad, I, I feel ashamed for him. I feel bad for him, but he is in, they are in a deniability and a lack of rea reality. The, the lawyers, there are many, many lawyers that will be in this case. We've been through the tobacco wars. We've been through very, very serious health health issues in Vioxx and Fen Fen. We've been through the Ford cases. I was in the Lockerbie case. Stan. And when you look, when you look at this, there is no reality here. Uh, Stan, I want to ask you a question. Yesterday, Mr. Toyota said that Toyota confused its priorities, effectively putting dollars before safety. How much does that embolden your case? That's the key. The key is they, they, claim, they have been representing for years that they are the safest, most reliable car on the road, yet they have never tested, nor will they let the United States government test their, quote, proprietary. That would be like Boeing having a crash and saying the NTSB has no right to look at our computers. There, cannot, there is but one, their position, to show you how de minimis this is. Yesterday, they thought they did something. I have great respect for Attorney General Como. They're going to give free loaners while the cars get fixed. Stan. Our position is very simple. They don't have a fix. Even okay. uh, Lentz admits that he has no fix. Stan, we thank you so much. Stanley Chesley joining us there. Uh, for his perspective on the legal battle that Toyota is like. Well, the legal battle that he's fighting, he's suing the company.